uh, look at, at Second Kings 327, where Adonai's uh, Judahite, Edomite, Israelite coalition that tried to go in and punish Moab got run off by Chemosh, the patron deity of Moab. As soon as you point... You know, when scholars get shit wrong, it really fucking pisses me off. And I hope you guys die from cancer for deceiving us who really just want to find the truth. You and Aaron Ra. Yes, I'm calling him Aaron Ra. He's not Aaron Ra. He's not a god. He's just a piss-ass old man. Look, Kima, Kima should not run the coalition of... Edomites and Israel away. Chemosh should not defeat Yahweh. Dumbass, get a clue. The writers of the, the, the writers of the Bible, if Chemosh would have defeated Yahweh, do you think the writers of the Bible who were pro Yahweh would have admitted it and would not have come up with a clever spin? You stupid fucking dumbasses. I hope you all died from cancer being so deceptive stupid because I just want the fucking truth goddamn motherfuckers both you and Aaron Ra I'll be both get prostate cancer look here's what fucking happened Israel was whipping the shit out of those god fucking Moabites and the king of Moab in desperation sacrifices his son to the god Chemosh and throws the fucking carcass over the fucking wall so that Israel has to see it and Israel is horrified they fear hey we got Moab whipped we don't want any more child sacrifices to happen on account of us so we'll just go home we already whipped his ass and the Moabites were angry there's great wrath against Israel don't you think if God would have been the one who was angry, it would have said that there was, or Chemosh, either one God, that that it would have said that and cleared his bell? Don't you think it would have said, and there is great wrath against Israel from Chemosh, of, uh, from Chemosh, or if there was great wrath from the Lord, there, there is great wrath from Chemosh. Dumbass, just read the fucking Bibles. God is constantly better than the idols. God is constantly picking on and beating up the other gods to prove he's the big bad boss. Come on, you stupid fuckers. Y'all really fucking pissed me off. I've seen... Because I had a stroke and I can't remember, I just remember several times seeing Aaron Rod get shit wrong. That old fucking feeble fucking addle braid motherfucker man. And the motherfucker is too chicken shit to come talk to me about my concerns. My, about my evidence that proves that just may be a god. Aaron Ross is too sh chicken shit. Or maybe it's because I, I don't got a thousand uh, uh, views per on every one of my fucking videos. She's no wonder people do... No wonder, no wonder people do atrocious acts to get attention. But let me show you the. Let me show you this is the Aaron Ra support video. God, fuck. Point to those texts text that undermine their ideologies. Uh, suddenly everything is as figurative as hell. Like the the literalness goes out the window. And, and so, so I dumbass, you got that wrong about fucking Kimosh. God damn it, the Rathers. The wrath was the Moabites against Israel. Don't you think the Moabites read the context? Don't you think the Moabites were disgusted by what the king did? Israel was horrified. They don't. They didn't want any more child sacrifices. So go bang, you stupid fucker! If you're gonna dare debunk Christianity or Judaism or my evidence that you're so afraid to face, you better do it with, with truth. Aaron Ra, Aaron Ra, Aaron Ra, stupid bitch. I, I, I personally, personally don't, don't think, 
they there are, are biblical heroes, but because of these three dogmas, inspiration, inerrancy, and univocality in the Bible. Come on, you goddamn motherfucker. And we'll, uh, as possible. However, in, in this case, man, he's I old and really fat. Don't think I'm guilty of anything. Aaron Rod, you need to hit that, 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 that the goddamn critic is accusing me of. Get a haircut so, and get a real um, job. The way that I shave that thing is off her chin. She's already, like, poisoned the well. That's the first level of the house we're starting with. She's poisoning the well that I can't ask. I'm better looking than you are, I believe. I can't ask and I'm not a good looking guy, but I want to. Well, I get my she's, uh, she, she said, said that, that any atheist, that any atheist that even atheist, atheist, atheist scholars, are, 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 are by her definition not going to know the Bible because. And Ra, I've seen you get shit wrong before. I've called you out in my many videos, and if you're a lazy ass, would go watch my fucking videos and dial at me, you son of a bitch. But J. Harold Smith has got you pinned down. J. Harold Smith has got you clinched, you stupid motherfucker. J. Harold Smith has got concrete evidence. No other religion has killed people for refusing to get saved. Or for mocking it. Nobody has ever died for mocking Hinduism. Or Islam. <laughs> or voodoo. There are stories. And all the atheists can do is say that all these stories never happen. They are told by reputable sources. If your atheist tell you, if your science, if a scientist tell you something, do you say, "Oh, he never"? Uh, if if you're having a dialogue and one of your fellow atheists said, "Well, Richard Dawkins said this," or better yet, the scientist said this, well, this atheist tells a story. Do you tell that atheist, "Hell, that story never happened"? You stupid bitch! You you afraid of my evidence? I'm gonna present this evidence one more time. And Ra, and if you do not ad uh, address this evidence, I hope you die of cancer. I hope you, I hope you and Matt Diddle Honey and Jimmy Snow die slowly of cancer and burn in hell forever. Cause I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. What the hell is happening, you stupid son of? A I curse you. I want to dance on your fucking grave, you son of a bitch. I hope you die for not addressing my evidence. I hate you. I hope I wish that people who ignore me would die violently. <laughs>